iMovie How To here, and today I'll be showing you the new iMovie 10.1 update. So one of the main features in this update is that iMovie now supports 60 FPS exports. This is a feature that has been long awaited, and it's really nice that it's finally added. The other part of this update is that 4K exports are now officially supported by Apple, and also that the whole iMovie interface has been redesigned a little bit. So when you first open iMovie, there's now a separate projects and media tab where it can view your media without editing it at all. When you open a project, the title bar above the project timeline not only now shows how long the project is, but also shows the time code of where the playhead is in the project. So in my case, the playhead is around 26 seconds in the project, so I can move it around and this number towards the left on the timeline header changes. In the corner where the film icon used to be, there's now a settings label button and includes all the project settings in one place. Like for example, project themes, the project wide filter option and project wide transition options. So in order to access titles, media, audio, backgrounds, or transitions, you now need to click on these buttons up on the top toolboy here to get to the corresponding panes. Also like in the recently updated version of iMovie for iOS, you can now show and hide the media browser by just clicking this button on the top here. The import button is also moved on this top toolbar and the export buttons on the very right hand corner of this top toolbar as well. There are also 10 new filters that were added from the iOS version that are now inside this version of iMovie. So if you go to the filters tab right here, there's some new effects like Duotone or Blockbuster. So that's basically it about the iMovie 10.1 update. Thank you for watching this quick overview video. If you wanna see the video I made about the recent iMovie on iOS update, or the video I made about how I can fade audio in or out in iMovie 10, click on the annotation above or click on the links in the description. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.